Hey, Perfect Spirit. Sam here over at Head Trash Anonymous. Interesting question today. Can spiritual awakening lead to healing? Can spiritual awakening create healing? So let's dive into this today. First, what is spiritual awakening? It's really remembering who we are to realize we have these thoughts, these beliefs, these concepts, this body, but we're not any of that. We are the deeper essence within us. So really about spiritual awakening is about know thyself. Who are you outside of your thoughts, your body, your mind? So it's about knowing self is a spiritual awakening. All right, so that's spiritual awakening is remember who we are. Because we usually forget. We're so lost in our beliefs, our concepts, our thoughts. I lived in this forgetful state for 44 years. A very sick man. So it's really about slowing down and realize, who am I? When I realized I had thoughts, but I wasn't my thoughts, that was like, aha, I'm not my thoughts, so who am I? That it just came to me that I'm perfect spirit. You watching here are perfect spirit. Everyone is perfect spirit, disguised in this human body. And if this makes no sense to you, completely lost, Look at some old old photographs of yourself from like a, a toddler, just all different ages, and ask yourself, look at all these changing bodies. Where did I go? If you really sit with that, you will see that you didn't go anywhere. The one who sees through the eyes has never changed. That is spirit. That is soul. Whatever you wish to call it. We don't want to get hung up on language. So spiritual awakening is realizing words are just words. They don't they cannot describe you. So after the spiritual awakening, can that lead to healing? Well, something interesting happens. At least it was my experience, and I've seen this in other people as well. When this head trash goes away, if you will, or no longer, you know, creates reactions, really creates disturbances, but you really know who you are and you're rooted in peace. That's usually a good sign of spiritual awakening is that you're rooted in peace and the mental noise, the external experiences as well, don't disturb this peace. So you're just in this peaceful state. So out of this peace, wisdom arises. You can say this is intuition, your instincts. This inner voice comes online, if you will. But it's always online. It's simply the head trash that makes it difficult to hear that noise. And a lot of people try to heal from the place of the mind. And this usually doesn't work very well because the mind is always guessing what's best for you. But there's something within you that doesn't guess. It simply knows. So it's a state of knowing that comes about when the mind grows quiet into the spiritual awakening. So next, that intuition rises up. If you really start to trust yourself, this will lead to healing. But we have to develop some trust in that, that this voice within us knows best for us. Like when I was coming through my healing journey, I wasn't focused on healing. I was focused at peace. Then through peace, healing happened. When I was going through this journey, I heard that intuitive voice say, do yoga. The mental voice was saying, you have MS, you can't walk, you can't do this, blah, blah, blah. Lots and lots of noise, lots of head trash. But I ignored that voice because it no longer held power over me. I saw that thoughts were no longer facts. It was just noise. So when I heard spirit say, do yoga, or the intuitive voice, do yoga. I signed up and did yoga. Yeah, when I began, I was falling over a lot. I was kind of tipsy. But six months after doing yoga, no more cane. My balance was coming back. It's really about learning to trust this voice, even when it makes no sense to the mind. We just trust. And sometimes it's hard to know this wisdom is your, in your best interest because the mind will confuse you and mask this intuitive voice. Because this intuitive voice will speak in a few words, two, three, maybe four. That's it. 
with no reasons, no explanations. Just do this, do that. The mind, however, will say, oh, you need to drink water because of these benefits. Start listing them out. You need to do this because of all these benefits. Spirit knows no, doesn't have any of those end goals, if you will. Spirit is a step by step. That's another thing, too, is to let go of the goals, the expectations, the demands. That's all coming from the mind. To realize we're just doing our best here in this moment. Being in this moment, that's also part of being spiritual awake, is being here in this moment. Because if you're up in the mind, you are not here. You're in the story. So it's aware that you're sitting, listening, feet on the floor, that you're just aware of this moment. You're just engaged of what's, what's where you are in time and space, if you will. So that will produce healing if you can get this mind quiet, learn to trust this intuitive voice, act on that intuitive voice, then the body will make changes. It may not be a full healing, maybe partial, but if you're spiritually awake, it won't matter because you know you're just here for the human experience and the body does what the body does. But miracles do happen when you completely surrender the mind. I had no expectations or demands that I would heal from my meditation mindfulness practice. I didn't even know that was going to be a result of my practice. I just simply learned I wasn't my thoughts. Thoughts aren't truth. They're not based in facts. They're just based on a perception. Then of who we are outside of thoughts is this perfect spirit. Then we learn to trust this deeper wisdom within us and act on that and just keep ourselves here grounded in this moment, making these small changes daily or taking these daily steps. Then it's quite miraculous what happens with the body. Like when I had all these autoimmune diseases, multiple sclerosis, psoriasis, psoriatic arthritis, that was because of all the head trash that was creating a toxic environment within me that I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't deserving, life is too hard, all this nonsense. We get rid of that. And the body has a natural ability to heal itself. We just simply have to get out of the way, get the mind out of the way. So yes, spiritual awakening can lead to healing if you can surrender everything and just be here listening and trusting yourself. All right. Well, take good care. Check out some of my other videos. See you soon.